at launch all day. Now we've been following this delay for a few minutes. Let's send it out to Cape Canaveral where Brooke Schaefer is live with the latest on that. Good morning, Brooke. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. As you were saying, the countdown clock right now is stopped at T minus 40 minutes. So we know that this launch for Artemis 1 is delayed while they are working to troubleshoot some issues. We know people at home have a lot of questions about this, so I want to bring in an expert here. This is a Dr. Ken Kramer. He is a research scientist and an expert really on all things space. So Dr. Kramer, talk to me about the issues right now. What are they working to fix to hopefully make this launch happen? Okay, thank you for having me. Yeah, there's really a lot of issues right now. There's no guarantee that we're gonna launch today. So the main issue right now is conditioning the engines. They have to be the proper temperature and the proper pressure. And one of the engines, engine number three, is not there right now. So what the team is doing is they're troubleshooting that right now. That's why the countdown clock stopped a few minutes ago, just before we started talking here. So they're having a, a group meeting to figure out the way forward. And if they come up with a solution, we'll resume the count. But if not, we will scrub for the day. There's also a crack potentially on a flange on the core stage. It's right out there, which is the main stage of the engine, the first stage of the rocket, I'm sorry. And, uh, and that seems to not be a problem, but uh, the engines are still a problem. Earlier, we had problems with thunder, uh, lightning, that delayed the tanking, the fueling, these cryogenic propellants. We lost about an hour for that. And there was also a hydrogen leak, a small one. They managed to fix that by raising it and lowering the temperature a little bit and the gas gets seeded. And so there was no more hydrogen leak. But that all eats into the window. They only have a two hour window to launch. And right now we don't actually even have a launch time, but we're into that window. So yeah. we have less than two hours to launch right now. Right, that, that window is 8.33 to 10.33 Eastern exactly. time this morning. Um, as you've been saying, this launch here, this Artemis One launch, highly anticipated. Is it in jeopardy right now? It's absolutely in jeopardy. There is still a chance we could launch. I think the chances might be small, but we'll just have to see. You know, they pull miracles out of the hat all the time. But this is pretty serious, and we're getting close to the end of the window. Uh, so, so really, there's no guarantees. It's rocket science, so, and, and it has to be successful. There is really no margin for error in this launch, because we want to launch astronauts on the next one, Artemis 2. And then we want to land astronauts on the moon on Artemis 3. So this has to be basically a near-perfect launch. It has to go 99.99%. Minor things can go wrong, but nothing major. So we want to keep it on the ground if there's any concern whatsoever, because it would a failure would put the whole Artemis program in jeopardy. We were talking earlier about this window. We have a two-hour window for launch. How specific does that have to be? Could we go past the 1033? No, cannot go past. It's absolutely specific. It depends on orbital mechanics, physics, the way the Earth and the Moon line up. And so we have two hours today. If we don't launch today, we can launch on September 2nd. We have almost two hours that day, and then there's one last chance on September 5th, and that's about just about an hour. It's much shorter. So we have to have the Earth and the Moon line up, and another issue is we can't have the Orion capsule go into an eclipse for too long because it depends on solar power. So if it goes into an eclipse where it doesn't get any sun and they can't recharge those batteries, the, the Orion would die. So there's a lot of complicated physics that are involved in this. And it all has to be incredibly specific. It has to be incredibly specific because we're going to a lunar orbit. It's a five week mission, but it's doing a, a near rectilinear halo orbit that we have never tried before. Okay. And that is how we will get to the South Pole of the Moon. And that's what this is all about. We want to find there is, which is in the South, these permanently shadowed craters. There's ice there from comets that hit there over billions of years. If we can mine that ice, then we can get rocket fuel and we can get breathable air and we get water that you, you can drink. And then we don't have to bring that from the Earth's surface. And that will save a tremendous amount of money. So that's what we want to do. Go to the South Pole. Apollo went equatorial. And that was great 50 years ago. Now we want to live off and have a sustainable presence not just go for a few days, but we want to be able to stay for weeks, months, maybe years at a time. And a the moon is a proving ground because eventually we want to go to Mars. 
So all the technology that we develop here will enable us to eventually get to Mars. Because when you go to Mars, you got a three-year round trip, all right? Mm -hmm. So nothing can fail. So we're going to test those technologies here. All right, definitely a lot to learn. Dr. Kramer, thank you for your insight there as well. So uh, Mitch and Adrian, we will continue to monitor things here at the Kennedy Space Center. Again, we know the launch for Artemis 1 right now delayed, the countdown clock holding at T minus 40 minutes. Guys. Yeah, that was Dr. Ken Kramer. He is a major space enthusiast, and you can just hear. But the incredible thing is just how many things are riding on this launch going right. Well, how many foundation? How many things to which it is completely foundational? Well, there are three launches, and so if this one's delayed and there were issues with this rocket, then they have to look and reassess at every successive rocket. But uh, certainly, we hope that they get everything fixed and the program moves forward. I just don't know that it's going to be today. Uh, that it moves forward. Uh, I Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.